he said that he's been making dua and no answer yet. That is called rushing. And the Prophet said, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَعْجَلْ Allah will answer the supplication of any of you as long as you don't rush. And they said, what is the meaning of rushing here? He said, he says, I've been making dua and no answer. So he quits. By just simply making dua, this is one of the greatest, if not the greatest act of worship. This is the greatest ibadah. Okay? Uh, الْعِبَادَ As the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, in the sound hadith. Number two, once you raise your hands and you made dua, ask for something legitimate and halal, then guaranteed your dua will be answered in one of the three ways which we said before. When that is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he knows what we, know, what we don't know. He says, وَعَسَى أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَى أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Lot of times people ask for things and Allah knows that, well, this is bad for you, but they keep pushing. Or ask for a relief from things which, they, which Allah knows that this is good for you for the time being. So that's why he said Allah knows and you know not. The advice is keep making dua. Yes, and also the dua can ward off and change the qadr. In the hadith, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, لا يرد القدر إلا الدعاء Nothing can ward off, stop the qadr, the ordainment from taking place other than supplicating and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The messenger of Allah says, so the dua will be ascending. And the qadr, the ordainment, will be descending. فَيَعْتَلِجَانْ They compete, they fight. And eventually, the dua, your prayer, your supplication, will overcome the ordainment. And this is all by the leave of Allah. يَمْحُوا اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتْ وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ So the one who decided and decreed this will happen because of your dua, Allah will change it. And he has also decreed that. Uh, the tawakkul, the true tawakkul upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is presented in this ayah. وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِهُ Whosoever puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly, Allah is, more, is sufficient for him. Indeed, Allah is sufficient for him. The true tawakkul is you trust Allah that he will deliver and you do it the proper way, the halal way, and you do your part. You fulfill your duty. And among the means of tawakkul is making dua. And utilizing the available lawful means. That is called tawakkul.